Hi Pisces, welcome to your March No Contact Love Tower reading. So Pisces, we're looking at the person on your mind, whoever you may be in separation, no communication or contact with, or very, very limited, and you want to know exactly what's going on with them. We're going to be looking at that energy. Now, I will be doing a Celtic cross, but it's mainly going to be looking at their energy, and I'll explain it as we go. And with these two decks here, we have the Enchanted Map and we have the Gateway Oracle. And we're going to get some opening messages and see what's going on as well. And we'll do the main Celtic Cross with the Before Tarot clarified with Legacy of the Divine. All right, Pisces. Welcome in. I hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. Happy birthday to all the Pisces out there. If it doesn't resonate, Pisces, or you're not interested in whatever comes out here, whatever the case may be. So obviously we're watching this, but you have no interest in the one you're in no communication with. It's probably not your reading at all. Totally fine. You can leave it for someone else. You can also check out other readings on the channel if you would like to. But welcome in, Pisces, the birthday babies. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome, welcome in. Thank you. This is Mary, and this is Sala Inside Tarot. All right, let's go. Let's get at it. All right, Pisces, no contact or communication. What do we need to know? Whoops. For Pisces, please. Let's see. Those two. All right, let's see what we have. Oh, commitment, 36 and 9. And 9 could be almost full circle, completion, new beginning. Huh. All right, but let's see. Let's keep going home 27 is another nine wow home that's like the four of wands energy for me but let's see expecting miracles miracles are blossoming in my life <clears throat> coming into power i step into the power into my power boldly and confidently so if this person had any fear of commitment you feeling like home or maybe even moving in or marriage or whatever the case may be. This could seem like a miracle to you, Pisces. Now, this person feeling empowered in their power to perhaps come in with the commitment uh, of some kind. Maybe you've been hoping for. Oh my gosh. Some of you may be getting engaged. I'm kind of feeling like for some of you, you could be in a relationship with this person. But maybe perhaps there's been no real talk or communication about like leveling up to a higher commitment and you're wondering you know is that ever going to happen because we're not talking about it it could be something like that as well and you may actually get a surprise there may be a engagement here for some I don't, I don't know. right okay pisces so let's see we're going to pull out your spread read it and then we're going to actually terrify uh, terrify <laughs> clarify and uh, read it again all right Pisces. So the first thing out here in the middle, we have the situation with what's crossing it. So we have the two of wands. Pressing that. We have the three of pentacles. Oh, that looks pretty good to me. The basis of the situation. Justice in reverse. Hmm. The uh, uh, recent past. Magician in reversed. Okay. And uh, let's see, number five here, we have the present, nine of wands reverse, which is good, which is good. The near future, the ten of swords, ooh, Pisces, okay. Their power in the situation, two of pentacles. A lot of things up in the air here, but they know how to take control of it. All right, let's see. Um, the energies around them, affecting them, judgment in reverse. I'm getting a pretty clear, uh, clear picture here. So their deepest fear, nine of cups reversed, and then the outcome. The emperor, oh my god, the divine masculine, holy moly, in the bottom of the deck, six of cups in reverse. I feel like here, Pisces, that maybe this person was going through a divorce, and maybe it was long and drawn out. And this could be Six of Cups here, them being done with the past, like this finally, finally behind them. Because what I have here, the basis of the situation is choosing a path and leaving something behind them with the Two of Wands here. And these, this was both, this was upright too, and that means crossing it here was the Three of Pentacles is uh, growth, expansion, building, and rebuilding. 
So I definitely see their situation right now. What's crossing it is choosing that path and rebuilding and choosing a future. Wow, the basis of the situation justice. I mean, that can be maybe divorce or something like that. So it seems like an unfair situation to them at this time. Definitely unbalanced. Um, definitely feeling like something uh, is not coming to a speedy end like they wish it would. So that definitely could be, you know, maybe if they're going through a divorce, said, you know, they may have said maybe the best thing here if we don't communicate for a while and you're wondering, well, what's going on? Or, you know, they may have said, well, you know, I have to wait till my divorce is final and maybe just not have talked to this person in a long time. And the uh, recent past here with the magician in reverse where they weren't able to maybe manifest the opportunity here with you because of the situations uh, around them. So definitely there, that's coming through. But then we do have here, um, the present is the Nine of Wands reverse, which is good because any struggles they were going through, feeling uh, like they were struggling, um, overwhelmed or whatever, that's coming to a close. So whatever, and that's almost completion, full circle, endings to new beginnings with the Nine of Wands, especially reversed. So I feel like their struggle right now is just about over or is over. And we have here um, the near future is the complete ending here and then walking away from that. Ten of Swords. So, wow. So there's the ending and walking away in the near future. So what we have over here, we have their power in the situation to a pinnacle. So I feel like, you know, a lot of things happening in their life right now a lot on their plate, but I feel like they definitely know how to handle this. So their power in the situation is handling all these things, uh, trying to bring balance back into their life. So they're definitely dealing with a lot right now, but I feel like they know how to deal with it, so which is good. And then we have the energies around them, affecting them is judgment in reverse. So I feel like this could be, it could be court, it could be other things where decisions are not being made. I feel like fast enough, I feel like a lot of delays and it's kind of like out of their control. And then we do have here their fear and the situation is in the Nine of Cups reverse is not getting their wish dream coming true. They're not happy. They're not fulfilled right now. So their biggest fear is not getting their wish fulfillment. And what they truly want is probably to be with you, Pisces. I just feel like not happening soon enough. It's like this is not happening soon enough. But the outcome of the situation is someone being totally in control here, a divine masculine or feminine whatever females can be masculine divine counterpart here definitely being it could be more mature being more in control um it coming in as that divine energy here wow so let's see we have uh libra gemini virgo aries scorpio all right and i definitely feel like the uh, six of cups reversed is them uh, being done with the past this situation from their past all right, Pisces. So let's see. Let's clarify. If it's resonating so far, please do uh, leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. Give it a thumbs up. All the gro uh, great things be greatly appreciated. Feel free to sub. Hit the bell, you know, if you like to. But let's see. So let's clarify the situation and what's crossing it. The two of wands. The star in reversed. Crossing that three of pentacles with the eight of ones. And justice here in the basis of the situation. That's in reverse. Knight of swords. Recent past magician reversed. The high priestess. Yeah, there's a no contact or communication. That's you, Pisces. And then we have on the top there um, the present situation. Oh my god, the two of cups. <laughs> Pisces. Oh my god. The near future. Well, I guess that one wants to come out for the near future. Ooh, the devil. But that's good because that's the ending of a toxic situation, which is good. So their power situation here. Page of Pentacles. I feel like they know how to bring resolve to um, a lot of unbalanced energy. I definitely feel like this is someone who is very level-headed. I felt that. The energies around them. Yeah, Six of Coins reversed is definitely like justice, and that's in reverse too. So very unbalanced energy of, you know, things not coming into order. The fears, strength, yeah. The affair definitely is not uh, getting their wishes fulfilled. And, you know, what if, 
I feel like eventually this will come to a close for them, but they're in the energy right now where it's so long drawn out, so drawn out for so long. Um, and it's turning, you know, probably into a very toxic situation that they're wondering, is this ever going to end? That's kind of what I feel here. Like, I feel like I'm never going to overcome this. But the outcome here, we do have the Emperor, which is good. So let's see. Ooh, the King of Swords. That could be somebody divorced. I'm just saying. And let's see on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Another two cards, Ten of Swords twice. Definitely ending here. And I said that ending of the past here. Finally, finally ending it. Putting it, putting it to rest. But let's see. So their situation here with the Two of Wands and the Star Reverse, definitely they are choosing their new path and moving forward. But right now they're feeling, again, this could be unbalanced with the Star Reversed. You know, maybe they're losing a little bit of hope and faith that this is going to come to an end so they could just move forward. So they're definitely feeling that, but they're definitely making those strides forward. And then we do have here the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands is, you know, Eight of Wands travel action putting in the work, communication, you know, just going forward as well. So they're definitely moving forward and rebuilding. Then the basis of the situation is the Justice card. So definitely feeling things are unfair, unbalanced, uh, not coming to a close soon enough. Long drawn out energy, like I said, it could be in the um, judicial system, whether it's divorce or whatever. And the Knight of Swords is about fast paced movement in action. So I feel like they're trying to speed things along here as fast as they can, the Knight of Swords. And in the recent past, definitely I felt like, you know, they didn't have the power to manifest this. That's probably went, why I went to no contact. Definitely have that with the High Priestess here, can represent that. And um, that is you Pisces as well. It could also be about listening to our intuition, higher knowing about the whole situation. Like if you're feeling like, well, I feel like, yeah, we just he, they just couldn't do this because their situation so that's why they chose to go silent um that's definitely uh what's going on here and then up here we have uh what's this now uh the present so yeah so the struggle's coming to an end and thinking of the connection with you with the two of cups here which is good i like that and then in the near future we definitely have the ending of a very negative toxic uh situation here with the devil and the Ten of Swords, their power in the situation, again, I feel like this is someone that knows how to resolve things. You know, very smart, practical, wise, analytical, a lot of great ideas, uh, very, like, level-headed, very compromising. That's kind of what I feel with this Page of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Um, and now, if they're trying to get, like, a settlement or something like that, I feel like they're, they're going to know how to negotiate that to either get what they deserve or make a happy compromise. So I definitely feel like they, they're they very powerful when it comes to that way. It could be somebody that works in finances or something like that. It doesn't have to be, though. And then we do have the energies around them. Again, the Six of Pentacles reverse with the Judgment reverse. Very unbalanced energy. Not a fair energy and things just taking too long. Judgments, decisions are not being made. And that's really affecting the whole situation. They're definitely feeling that. And then we have their f the fear here is like not overcoming this strength and reverses. Like they're not feeling good, confident. I feel like it's all going to come to a close. But sometimes when it's long, it's drawn out. Um, there's a lot of toxic energy around it. Decisions aren't being made. You feel like you're just going to be stuck in that energy forever. And not, you know, not getting their wishes and dream come true. So they may be worried that the connection with you may fizzle out so they could be a little worried about that too with the strength reversed i mean upright that could be a very strong connection between two people as well and i feel like um it's like they really don't want to hold back anymore either with the strength reversed because usually upright that could be having like the willpower determination like to hold back and be resilient but i definitely feel like they're like you know i just want this done over but in the outcome here we do have the king of swords with the emperor now, the King of Swords can be somebody who was divorced. Very clear, blunt, direct to the point. The communication coming in. Someone's in control of a situation. Definitely a divine counterpart energy here. So I'm feeling like, you know, that's going to happen here. So we do have Gemini, Aries here. So let's see. We got Gemini, Leo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, that's you. Uh, Aquarius again over there. 
So we are in Pisces season right now, obviously it's your birthday season. So, I mean, this could be coming to a close by the end of Pisces season. Uh, Capricorn already went by. Gemini, that's kind of a ways off. So Aquarius um, already went by as well. We're actually going into Aries season right after Pisces and we have that up here. So definitely something by the start of Aries season, which really isn't that far off. But we're gonna get you some advice and guidance, Pisces, and see what else you need to know. Also, Pisces, if you're wondering about everything I use, if you like to shop or check out the merch, um, send a gift or donate, whatever, I have a website down below so you can check that out. Everything is there in one link. All my socials, uh, if you like to shop around or send a gift or check out the store, if you like to buy decks or anything like that, metaphysical, crystals, anything, you could check that out as well. All right. So let's get some advice and guidance for you, Pisces. Let's see. Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're definitely uh, disconnected from this person. Um, maybe you haven't even really dated them or anything like that. Hermit in reverse. Just know this person definitely is going to come forward because a hermit upright for me can be somebody who's very reclusive, kind of keeps their distance. And I feel like this person is going to come forward um, as well. Hierophant. Wow. So that could be the marriage, the commitment leveling up things leveling up here four of swords reverse let's get one more and the three of wands this could be happening maybe sooner than you think this could be happening actually like right now ten of cups you are going to have the ten of cups it just feels like it's raining uh, raining on your parade right now but the ten of cups is here to say that this will be happening it's just you know a little damper on the energy right now and it's definitely telling you here you know there's a delay here in the uh Recon I don't want to say it's reconciling, but reuniting. And maybe you never really technically dated this person. Um, I feel like they will come forward here for a uh, hermit in reverse. Definitely, uh, they could be going through, you know, if they were married, going through something as well. And that's higher levels, you know, growth, experience. This could be someone very traditional, you know, morals, traditions, values, and standards. Four of swords, healing, rest, recovery, but then it's in reverse. Gets up and take action. And the three of wands could be happening like, any time now, like, like maybe even a lot sooner than you think. So I feel like the situation could be changing here, uh, Pisces, a lot sooner than you thought it would. So I kind of like that. But we also have your Taurus, Virgo as well. But if you find that this didn't resonate or you want to check out other readings as well, you could check out here. Your um, new love and singles will be coming up. So if you want to check those out, feel free or other readings on the channel. But that's what I have. Pisces, happy birthday. Wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.